Hello and welcome guys to playthrough of Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Man Monkey Rules here. And today we're going to go through on the new campaign on veteran difficulty. Um, I've been a big aficionado of the COD series since Modern Warfare. I still think that's probably the best out of all of them, but um saw a couple of things to do with Black Ops. At first I wasn't planning on actually getting this game at all, and luckily someone actually got it for me. So, so far I've played through a few levels in, I won't spoil anything, but for the most part this is going to be a blind playthrough. I'll probably make a point of noting out when and where I've gotten to before I carry on. But, we may as well get started. New story here, and yeah, sure, veteran. Hey, old man. Was Raul Menendez here today? Sergeant Woods! Raul Menendez is the leader of Cortes Dia. And the most dangerous terrorist since Osama bin Laden. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh! Fucking wasted time. Guy's a vegetable. Back off! All he said was, mi hermana. That's Spanish for sister dipshit. Dumbass. You suffer. You suffer. Oh no, flashbacks. You boys better get your shit together. He's gonna attack. If you have information about a threat to national security, you gotta tell us. Turn the camera on. Your old man. He's doing okay in Alaska. Fucking Hudson showed up. Dad, I'm scared. I, I need help. You're seven years old, David. Stop acting like a baby. <laughs> I hate you. Angry Wolverine. David, wait. I Go back to the army. What you did with mom died. Wow, an asshole. Do she get? Lieutenant Colonel North, NSC. You already know Jason Hudson. What are you doing here? Yesterday, Sergeant Woods led a covert team to take on an arms smuggling ring in Angola. This morning, we lost contact. So go get him, CIA. Why are you here? Castro and the Russians are all over Angola. We can't go in. The CIA have buried the mission. Woods and his squad no longer exist. We got whatever you need, Mason. Name it. David can stay with Jenny, like before. She loves having him. He'll be fine. Dad, you said you'd never go back to the army. You promised me. It's nice now, you douche. It's Uncle Woods, son. He'd do it for me. Well. Oh, this is one of the new features, isn't it? Yeah, um, quick explanation. Simple enough, choosing your own customised loadout, which I thought was quite a good idea. I mean, the player at least seemingly has some form of ability to change how he plays. It's quite useful, actually, because I'm sure later on I'll be using more of the snipers, playing how I usually play in the multiplayer. Um, I'm putting a few videos up about the multiplayer and possibly some zombies as well. To see if I get any comments or anything that says what people would like to see. But does it, does it, does it, does it, 
Yeah. Nothing really at the start, but um, oh yeah, the challenges and everything. Have a look. Two challenges to unlock fast hands. Destroy tanks, machine. Okay. Um, I probably won't be going for a hundred percent intel on these playthroughs, so don't expect anything spectacular. I'll try and find if I can, but. This is just mainly just meant as a playthrough, just to see how veteran difficulty plays out, and see if it's anywhere near as hard as Treyarch's outing with COD 5. World at War just kicked my ass on veteran when it got to the Reichstag, and oh god, it was terrible. Might do a playthrough of that at some point, but may as well get started. They found where I was being held prisoner with a spy satellite. One of them. Kids, nines. This baby and shits out of film canners from 12 miles up. When a C-130 comes by and snags it at about 30,000 feet. This was not the digital age. This film had to be processed, analyzed, and delivered all by hand. Our dog in a fight is a guy named Jonas Savimbi. <laughs> you think I'm fucking nuts? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. This bit. No! Yeah. I need help over here! Hold on! Only positive is. Lenny Henry! Right! Damn it! Yeah, that, that's not working. That's pretty. Free. Sometimes it's too late to save a man. We must move out. Before we join him in death. I agree, Lenny. The water fire means the MPLA is ready for attack. If they want our fight, we give them Hell a yeah. fight. Hell yeah! Move out! Mason, you copy? Go ahead, Hudson. MPLA forces advancing on your position about one click north. Hey, we know! Svimby's leading a counter charge. He's got balls on your man. What about Woods? Do we have confirmation on his location? They've been moving him from one location to another. We expect some of these men to report back soon. Well, as we lead the charge into the suckiest place. The motors have stopped! Okay. Suckiest place in the world. All the millions of people going Here they the come! Here they come, my brothers! Fight, my brothers! Oh, down. Uh, as I really kind of get acclimated with the game again, I'll just note this. If I do seem to die a lot, I will most likely, if it's not comedy or fun for anybody involved, then I'll most likely start to cut things out. But if I have a couple of deaths, then for all of you amazing people who don't die at all, then I apologise, but... If it's funny in any way, I will just keep it in. Excessive dying, I'll most likely try and cut out though, but... Mason, target the motor crews! Okie dokie. We'll do our best to not run him like an idiot. I promise absolutely nothing in terms of not dying on some of the later missions that I tried. And some of the FOB Spectre is one of them protecting different things. I have no idea what they're going to be like on Veteran, but I know they were arse at times on Recruit. Oh, got one of them. Ah, God. Protect me, Rock! Okay. Mortar crews are down! Down! Damn it, Hudson! They got T-62 tanks in support! We need you to take the heat off! Oh, okie dokie. I got this. Take out the tanks, Hudson! Doing it, I'm doing it. Beginning strafing run. Come on! Take a cloak to the ground. Sooner or later, one of them is going to get elected. We'll just screw up some MPLA. Okay. Nice work, Hudson. There's a couple of MG trucks targeting you. Get down. I can't make another pass, so you're taking out those MG trucks. On Lander. <laughs> I'm doing it. Like Linda on the battlefield. Famous Angolan name. 
And these will be needed if you want some challenges later. But you just stay with the vehicle. I will stay with the vehicle. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh god. You need to just try and kill me outright, game, just because I was trying to explore some. Jeez. It's one of your damn secrets you want me to find anyway. Ugh. Get the hell out of here. Empty yeah. trucks are down! You clear, Hudson? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Sabimbi, help me! Okay, come on, Dave. Fuck up some more tanks. Whoop! Oh, fuck you. Um. There's heavy armor still out so there! So far from what I played, it was pretty good, but. That's just my first opinion so far. I mean, I like Black Ops, the original. I got quite a few hours into that. I didn't do that well prestige-wise. Oh, career record update, so I must have done that challenge. Hey, Mason, straight fire, took out the chopper gun. I can't make another run. Go, my friend. I will if you get on the damn thing. Slowest climber ever. Yes, get us to it! <sighs> and then it turns into the girl fashion, just mow down every single person in front of you. Reminds me so much of Resi, murdering so many random African people. Yet this game has no controversy to it, and Resi was frowned upon. Amazing. A journey to victory has begun! Death to the MPA! Yeah, they suck! Yeah, fuck the MPLA. Woo! Get the hell out of here. Go team. Good job, everyone. There's some milk and cookies when you get home. Good job. <laughs> My friend from above. You killed many men today, huh? Yes. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> Even Linda. Linda did fantastically. Give her a goddamn commendation. The MBLA is not yet defeated! That's a very dangerous rescue, my friend! Oh, shit, it's just teleport you. He's being held captive by a Nicaraguan gunrunner! A very dangerous man! Where? About two miles north! He's on a transport barge on the Tupango River! That's some river now. He may already be dead! Let's go! Ah, he'll be fine, it. he's a plot character. Woo! Go team! Slaughter a load of people! Woo! I was MIA in now. But your old man thought I was dead. After all that shit Kravchenko did to him. The numbers. Reznov being stuck in his head. He had no idea it was real. The fuck could he? Kravchenko, when I sliced that bastard open, he saved everyone's ass. When he comes to first, boom. Welcome to the Hanoi Hilton. Six months later, they shipped me over to Da Nang. And this fucking place made the Hilton look good. Lost 17 of my group. By 72, it was just me. I was not gonna die in a fucking swamp. Commitment. That's some strong commitment right there.